The Honourable Member for Foothills. Mr. Speaker, the Emergencies Act is intended to be a last resort to deal with a clear, imminent threat. It's not a sledgehammer to deal with some future unknown crisis. There's no security threat. The streets are empty. The blockades are gone. There's no threat to our democracy. We're here in the House of Commons with the world watching, about to have a critical vote. So if there is no threat, will the Prime Minister end his abuse of the Emergencies Act, or is this just a ploy to ensure that the infringements on Canadians' charter rights and our bank accounts are permanent? The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, uh, I would hope that the member would have seen over the course of the last number of days that far from using a sledgehammer, the police have been restrained, they've been patient, and they have been professional in carrying out their responsibilities under the Emergencies Act, which they continue to say is necessary to bring about the end of the illegal occupation here in Ottawa and across the country. Mr. Speaker, there are still risks, but I assure every member in this House that we will sunset the Emergencies Act as soon as we can, and in the meantime, the powers exercised under it will be done in a manner consistent with the Charter.